Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got him. Who we got over here, man? Look, look, look. We got Young Thug's attorney, man. Ready to look? He ready? He ready to be YSL now, man? Yo, say, I think I think he ready. He ready for it. Yeah, you know I mean, we got him. Uh, Meat uh, Meat Mill um, making a pledge, man. Charleston White trying to uh, sick the folks on him, man. We got uh, Bobby Altoff and uh, Funny Marco and um, uh, Erica Badu, Erica Banks clapping at Beyonce again. Thank for tuning in to Celeb Source, yo. If this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button to feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that, all right? That notification bell is waiting for your tap, man, so go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man, so go on and test it. You check this out. Let me set this one off. This, this one's going to be an eye opener for you, all right? I saw this from Black Home Educators, okay? Black Home Educators. They posted a video compilation that I hope plays for your sake. You know what I mean? This is this is going to be an eye opener, man. Hopefully this plays. I want you to take a listen to what Black Home Educators posted. Take a look real quick. And Sauce, you're going to have to let the whole clip play for this one now. All right? Uh, take a look. Take a look. I've done nothing wrong. When you tell the truth, you have to deal with the repercussions of the truth. We black out here. You Africans all alike. Crazy. We can't come out here and do this any kind of way we want. He own you. He can do anything he want with you. There ain't nothing you can do about it. This the money game. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. It's this the is money the money game. game. I've been stretching and scrambling most of my days to get where I got. And We're you cannot sacrifice game. yourself. The we best are. thing you can do for this poor people is not be brother. one of them. Now I eat in the big house kitchen. I got pine boards on the floor of my cap. If Wait I crumble, if you my crumble, children crumble, my grandchildren crumble. And it don't take much coffin for the master to make me have a cup of corn whiskey for my medicine. I cannot, for the sake of my integrity, stand up here and let everybody that's counting on me crumble so I can make a statement. Now that is fine living for a nigga, and I'll be damned if any African guinea man is gonna make me lose all I've been working for. Now you take my meaning. There are ways to win the war in a different way. You best learn or you're going to get the bloody back for sure. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, <laughs> look, 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 Now, if that played, right? Now, if that played, go on and rewind it and let it play one more again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, 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 look. Don't, don't come out saying the inside part out loud, bro. You know what I mean? Look, look, don't be out here telling the truth and massa hear you and, 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 and you out here and, and, and look, massa hear you out here and then you go get put in the box. Look, you got to shuck and jive as hard as you can for Massa and make that paper. And look, tell me that clip compilation wasn't the truth, man. And look, if that joint didn't play, I feel sorry for your mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm just going to call it what it is, man. Yeah, you know, I feel bad for her, man. You know what I mean? Listen, man. Look, 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 look. That joint was hard, though. Uh, and 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 it and it and it was so spot on. It was so spot on. I am not gonna lie. It was spot on. Sorry, Steve. It was spot on. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Black Home Educators, man. I, I it just showed up in my feed. I watched it and I was like, oh shoot. Check this out. Young Thug's attorney, right? Maybe an honorary member of YSL, man. The attorney said he ready to die for his client, Thugger, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, 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 look. And, so, and sometimes it bees that way. Take, take a look at look that's why i guess it pays if you go get a lawyer get a lawyer that already supports what you do and supports your content you know what I'm saying? if you could um take a look at what happened in a courtroom yo this court i guess for the next four years we're gonna be getting content from this courtroom because this one is insane man like people are really gonna age people we like like someone is gonna have black hair at the beginning of this trial and gray hair at the end take a look at this clip real quick but I mean, I'm not saying anything, but if true, that's a pretty, that's a pretty serious accusation. If true, if true, I'll die right now. How about that, Judge Glanville? Your Honor, I object to this. I don't care about her objection. I'm and speaking with the Honor, court. I object. I'm like speaking with the court. Objection. Okay. I'm right. speaking Let with the court. Let him finish, and then you can, uh, then you can state your. My point is. Look, Thugger's attorney damn near slammed the pistol on the table, talking about if it's true, Your Honor, I'm ready to die about mine. You know what I'm saying? Prosecutor's like, I object. He's like, yo, cuss your objection. You know what I'm saying? Cuss your objection, your honor. Cuff her objection. I don't care about her objection. I don't care about the court. You know what I'm saying? Look, 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 look. When I heard, bro, Source, what did this joint make me think of when I heard? Hopefully this place, okay? What did it make me think of, Source? Hello, my phone phone makes sure all y'all kids don't grow. You can't be us or see us. Thug like Riders West Side till we die. 
I call look, I call that Tupac's F offs. You know what I'm saying? Uh look, that's all that's all I that's all I heard in my head. He was just like F you, F you, F you, and F you. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, uh, where we at over here? I, la, 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 let me give you one more. Let me give you one more. Let me give you one. More. Listen, listen, listen. Um, have you heard? Uh, uh, look, keeping with the trend, right? That needs to go viral of artists giving back. Filthy rich artists looking out for the for the for the regular folk. Yeah, you know I'm saying <laughs> that may not be so artistic. Uh, Meek Mill has posted the following. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull it up. Hopefully, it's still up here. Meek Mill. This is what Meek Mill posted. Uh, Meek Mill posted. He said. I'm going to do a public contract with the city of Philadelphia where 10% of my music earnings go to the city of Philadelphia to combat gun violence in our city. I'm going to start this movement, okay? Uh, rest in peace, Fat G's. I, I want to do a contract in the city of Philly. DJ Academic saw what he posted. <laughs> Academic posted. He said, uh, he said, uh, he said, rap about gun violence. To increase violence in the inner cities by 400%, then pledge a measly 10% of your earnings from said rapping to combat the same violence your music just promoted? <laughs> wow, this guy is a saint. I said, man, this uh, me, look, Ack hates Meat Mill. <laughs> I think he hates him, all right? Meat Mill said, look, ain't nothing stopping me from talking the way I rap. Too many of my friends got killed already. Wait a minute, let me get this straight. He said, ain't nothing stopping me from talking the way I rap. So I guess like nothing's going to stop the kind of raps that I do. But then he said, too many of my friends got killed already. What you mean? Like from people being inspired by the music? Uh, I don't really. I, I guess there's a part that I'm missing. Like like classic, right? This is a classic situation. I don't understand why he added the too many of my friends. Okay. He, uh, academics said Meek Mill think he could be an activist in the daytime and a villain at night. Ninja must think Philly is Gotham City. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. Um, hey, look. A academics essentially said that man is the Dark Knight. So I feel like I can see the two ways, right? Rap is as much art as film. So if Denzel want to give 10% after training day and Meek Mill want to give 10% after rapping, ain't both rap and film art? You follow what I'm saying, man? Like, how are they different? Like, I, like one is just painting pictures with their words and allowing you to use your imagination, whereas the other just put the picture on the, on the screen for you. You follow what I'm saying, man? What if in 10 years film becomes more influential? I, look, I think I, I don't think it's gonna happen like that though. But I'm just saying, I think at the beginning and end of all rap videos, maybe there should be like a disclaimer. Like uh, the disclaimer read, all of this is fake. Yeah, for the for the people in the back. All of this, because you know the people in the back, they're the slow ones. All of this is I know you like, oh well, I was smart. And I sat in the back. Whatever. Sure you are, okay? You don't know that you were slow. That's the whole trick. You're like, well, I got straight A's though. Okay, whatever. So what? I got C's and D's. What? You know where you sit? In, in, a, in the front off to the side never mind never I was, I was slow what do you want okay i was i was a little bit on the slow side that's why i resonate with so many people listen uh look, 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 look. there should be a disclaimer disclaimer should say all of this is fake Tr trying these actions will result in prison or death <laughs> or death in prison or the death penalty yeah you know i'm saying anyway look we need our youth that is anyone the age of 27 and under to be able to be made aware of the end of their actions. You understand what I'm saying, man? Like wisdom looks to the end of a thing. Are you catching me, man? Wisdom sees how things end up and takes it into consideration. And anyone with wisdom knows criminal actions don't usually end in positive results. But like, like these, like we need to start injecting more wisdom to in in even in our content that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to do the best i could over here okay if i can get some help from the artist that would be nice instead the artists want to promote you know what i'm saying hypersexuality but they never want to promote the end of it which is you probably gonna catch a disease that's gonna make you <laughs> itch your balls off right okay or, or or your pee is gonna burn because you caught a disease right or you got the hit you got the the monster <laughs> you know what i'm saying they don't never talk about that part in the well. Some rappers did, yeah. You know I mean? Some rappers talk about like some rappers. Some rappers spoke about some crazies. I remember ODB spoke about it. Uh, 
Anyway, um, where, where we at? What, what did ODB say? I think he said, did he say he had gonorrhea, chlamydia? I forgot what he said, but he said something crazy. He was like, oh my gosh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, look, that made a lot of people strap up. They're like, I don't want to kiss that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we need more songs about herpes, man. More song about herpes. More song about the clap. More songs about syphilis. Let's get, let's get these. Yo, let's run these numbers up, man. All you want to do is talk about sex, but you never want to talk about the other side. Ain't no, ain't, everybody can't be having. You know how many people got? You know how many people got diseases, man. It's like one out of three people. Like if you count one, if you count three people, one of them technically, statistically, has something. But ain't none of these rappers rapping about it. When I listen to music, it ain't one out of three saying, yo, yeah, and I caught the clap. You know what I'm saying? Um, clap on your hands to this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> make a, make a, oh, yo, clap on your hands to this. Clap on you. Can you get clap on your hands? I don't know if you could. Let me know in the comments below if you got clap. Can you get clap on your hands? What diseases can be on your hands? Is there an STD that can be on your hands? I don't know. Maybe if you got a cut on your hand. Okay, look, look, never mind all that. I'm making a lot of people on couple. My bad. Listen, let me go to my shout-outs real quick. That usually saves the day. All right? Uh, who we got over here for shout-outs, man? Um, I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to go home now. I'm, I'm tired. Hey, look, ch look, check this out. Shout-out to uh, my man Eskimo Shorty, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Eskimo Shorty. Okay? My man Eskimo said, yo, bruh. He said, you mastered the art of slipping them in. She definitely look lighter. That's what I'm saying. I knew it wasn't just me, man. She looked lighter and lighter. Every time I see it, it's brighter and brighter and brighter. I don't know. I hope she doesn't have vitiligo. You know what I'm saying? Remember when, when Brad said he had vitiligo? And everybody was like, oh, that's why he keeps getting brighter and brighter. I mean, I, I, like, I don't believe she got vitiligo. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be, get stung or nothing. Like, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? I hope, like, why she keep getting brighter and brighter? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe, maybe brighter's safer. My bad. Uh, uh, Cooley Six. My man said, yo, it's crazy. He, my man said, uh, Cooley Six said, that is crazy how celeb mention female body parts as if it's nothing special. Most men would spend their savings and work money on a woman. Uh, it's special for men. Yes, buns are special for men. Buns are special because um, they are the, the, the means by which we have... Um, uh, sexual pleasure we express sexual pleasure with each other uh, uh, uh you know what i'm saying like our sexual organs uh, express um sexual we express our affection and our um intimacy physically through our our, our sexual organs and stuff like that but uh, also people allow their sexual organs to um be used as a means of manipulating the opposite. A lot of women use their buns just to get like a lot of things. Let's let's be frank. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know about dudes using their dinglings to, to to try to get what they need to get from. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's society. Let's just be real with it. Like y'all know what it is. I'm not making this stuff up. Y'all acting like I was over here thinking. Look, 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 look. I'm, I'm saying it isn't anything special. It isn't it's as special as the organ you got. You know what I mean, fellas? It's as special as the organ you got. Women want it just as much as we want it. Trust me, okay? You're like, well, why should we trust you? Because they tell me. They tell me this all the time. Look, in the comments, I'm sure a woman will say it. Like, oh, yeah, we want, we want it more than, we want it sometimes more than y'all. They just clever with how they express. They, But but they'll, in a, in a million ways, They'll express that they want it, but we just be missing it because we be aloof. Like we like we're goofy. You know what I mean? They be wanting it though, but don't don't <laughs> I think men are spending their savings and their work money. Not so much on well, uh, some of them are on the buttons, but a lot of men spend it on the fat on the on the mother of their child or the person that they love who just so happens to have buns. You see what I'm saying? But there are a lot of people that will spend a lot of this stuff on the buns piece. That's the people that are buying prostitutes and stuff like that. Anyway, my uh, where we at over here, man? Lynch. I, I think I'm a, I might lose subs on this one. I pray to God I don't. You know what I'm saying? Hit the sub button. Help me out. Those of y'all that watch but never sub. Uh, Lynch said these artists sign multi movie deals. So if they turn down movies, they could get sued. Maybe Lynch, what Lynch is saying is like, and so therefore the sequel might include a dress, but they can't back out because they've already locked themselves in. Okay. Uh, and lastly, where we at over here? Um, where we at over here? 
uh, I don't remember. I right, look, 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 let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up, man. Oh, 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 lastly, lastly, big, big, big bless. So, yeah, how you gonna say in one story verbal abuse is worse than physical abuse, and in the next story, downplay the verbal abuse in another? Remember, the worst thing that ever happened to you is still the worst thing that has ever happened to you. Well, that's true. For some, it could be this, and for others, it could be that. It's still the worst thing to ever happen. Not sticking up for uh, Grace Jabari, but I believe that Grace was wrong, but I think we shouldn't diminish anyone's anguish since verbal abuse is so bad in your context. No, 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 no. Listen, no, no, you can't, you can't do that because even though someone might say, oh, he verbally abused me, not everything is actually verbal abuse. Just because someone else says it, it was verbally abusive doesn't necessarily mean it was verbally abusive as far as I'm concerned, okay? And as far as what it is, because think about how many times you didn't mean anything wrong. You weren't trying to be abusive, but someone still took what you said wrong because they have a negative outlook on uh, anything that you say or do. You see what I'm saying? Plus, with that lady right there, with Grace Jabari, like, don't get me started on her, on her man. Uh, what you gonna call it? She, look, she said the man raised his voice and then she felt nervous and scared and so therefore he was abusive because he told her, don't pet the dog without knowing the dog. And, and when he, he said, yo, don't pet the dog without knowing the dog, she suddenly was abused. Get out of here with that. Uh, and shout out to, to my man DJ Cheddar holding it, holding us down, man. Y'all say I appreciate your kind words. Listen, let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy. That's the longest shout out session ever. But guess what? I love y'all. So what? Sue me, okay? No, no, no. Don't sue me. Whatever you do, don't sue me, okay? I'm broke. Uh, Charleston White. My man has stated that he's calling the cops on Boosie once again. He gonna do it. He gonna do it this time. He said he ain't playing. He said the FBI is gonna be on Boosie ad. Y'all you know say he stated that Boosie done threatened a promoter in Baton Rouge that booked him for a comedy show. Take. A listen to what Charleston had to say on that. Take a listen real quick. Boosie, I'm gonna put your motherfucking ass in jail, nigga. I'm every boy, I'm a boy, you making threats to the promoter? I got a recorded phone conversation with witnesses on the phone saying the promoter is scared for his life that he got to live in Baton Rouge, that Boosie go send them people to get you. He said he can't have the show because Boosie goes, I said, nigga, I just hired the police. The promoter scary. Scary ass nigga. Yeah, nigga, Boosie is a hoe. And I bet he don't want to get in that boxing ring. See, Boosie, you gonna try to send somebody, but you ain't gonna do nothing, bitch ass nigga. I'm gonna put your bitch ass in jail, nigga. I'm waiting for the FBI to send me the right kind of number, nigga, because I'm finna make a report on your motherfucking ass and people. And you make the man, the man call your name specifically. The promoter specifically said your motherfucking name, little Boosie. He implemented you and implicated you. Bitch ass nigga, you finna go to jail. Back to jail. You gonna be on your knees, but them knees gonna be bleeding again. Diabetic freak. <laughs> that man's a diabetic freak. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, why why we came why he came for the man's medical history? <laughs> look, I look at the comments, right? One one person said, it's impossible to beat a man who used the law as his protection. While another person followed that comment and said, truth be told, though, that's kind of what you're supposed to do. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to call the police, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because here's, here's my position on this. I don't really care what you think about it either. You could be like, oh, what the, you whatever. Who, like, who is you? Like, why am I, I like, you're going to really break my heart and destroy my life? Please. Okay. I mean, think about it, though. Real talk. Real talk. Uh, what you think I'm paying taxes for? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I pay taxes so when I dial 911, when the real boogeyman show up, you know what I'm saying? And they come deep, they don't play that ish, and they wish a ninja would. Right or wrong? You know what I'm saying? What do you think I'm paying taxes for? If you if you committing crime and doing all this other stuff, I want to be able to dial 911 and someone come and help me. You know, there are countries where if you getting robbed, then you just getting robbed. Ain't no dial 911 calling the authorities trying to get the stuff back. None of that. None of that. Okay? So, yeah, 911, where the people at? Come and get me. Yo, help. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, uh, look, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm paying for this joint. What do you think my taxes? What do you think my taxes is being? <sighs> Listen, Bobby Altoff has interviewed quite a few people. Okay, white girl. You, you know what I'm talking about? Tiger. She interviewed Offset, Drake, Shaq. Okay, Wiz Khalifa, and everybody has stated that uh, she stole uh, her style from Funny Marco. Right? In fact, she stated that herself. Kiki Palmer was like, "Yo, are you an industry plant? Cause uh, where the hell you came from so quick?" Okay, and how you shot up to the top so quickly? Okay, she was like, "I don't know, I don't really know." Okay, uh, look, pulling on her long, uh, her long stringy hair. Anyway, she she done showed up on Funny Marco's platform and gave bro a little gift. Take a look. Oh, that's all set for you. This is the setup. 
What do you mean? Is this the way? No. Where would I even steal that from? You're welcome. I was trying to figure out what's going on. I just wanted to repay you. I don't want you to count it. Do you want me to count it? Two thousand. Four thousand. Five, six. Six thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Nineteen. Eleven. This is my sh Yeah, it's yours now. On God, say on God. On on God. Say on. What else do you need me to say? Type. Huh? On type. Huh? Type. You want me to say that? Yeah. What does that mean? Type. Being like, all right, type. It's your money. Type. Okay. Type. Okay. That's not a bad word. Yeah. Trust me, you won't get in trouble. Type is like. Ditto. I don't know. I don't know why you mentioned it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I ain't never counted as much money. Nine, I don't believe that. Why you give it to me though? Because you you helped me. I'm giving you a present. Why oh, you think I need money out of everything? I didn't say I thought you needed money. Yeah. Do you think that people need money every time you gift it to them? Huh? I need a shit, like toothpaste and shit like that. Let's go to the store then and buy toothpaste if that's what nah, you want. Like, hey, look, 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 look. One, one person said in the comments, they said, Ever since them dudes try to clown him on and show publicly, God been publicly showing out in his life. That's amazing. And can you believe that that comment got 58,333 likes? Ain't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, look, it's wild the way the pendulum swings, right? It's like we love the idea that there seems to be a sense of justice in that. Like all the times we let cuff ish ride or cuff ish happen to us and we just took it and we seek uh, look and we secretly hope we get a payback. Like right after them dudes tried to play, bro. We saw a little Yachty on the show, Gervonta on the show, K Hood, Kevin Hart, Chris Brown, Nicki Minaj, Gilly John Cena. It's like it's like it's like they came out the woodworks. Sometimes it goes down like that. Then Bobby Altoff shows up and literally drops 25K in Bro's lap. Tell me that ain't incredible. Uh, I mean, look, sometimes it bees that way, man. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes it just bees that way. And finally, yeah, Funny Marco got to had a come up. And I watched the show yesterday. I like fun watching Funny Marco, man. I like his, his brand of humor. And honestly, I'm not going to even lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of like, um, I like seeing Bobby Altoff and Funny Marco in this, like on the same interview, both of their interviews. I enjoyed that joint. It was hilarious to me. Like it was a funny kind of dry humor. You know what I'm saying? You might like it, whatever. Uh, some people might get me. Oh, 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 oh. So here's a, here's an argument that I had with somebody yesterday on that, on, on, about that. All right. Bobby Altoff gave that man 25,000. Now, I watched the whole interview. She said a couple of things after she dropped that 25000 She said, this is the last of my money. Okay? She did, um, Funny Marco said, let's discuss the D word. Now, I was thinking, you mean divorce? I guess he was thinking Drake. She didn't want to discuss it. She was like, I'll talk about my dog. Uh, so, she didn't want to do that. The person I was speaking with, right? My peoples was trying to tell me that they think Bobby Altoff got an ulterior motive. But they was like, yeah, she got an ulterior motive. You know what I mean? Because we can't trust these folks. I said, now, nah, come on now. We can't just assume bad with everybody that don't necessarily look like us. You know what I'm saying? And uh, because I mean, look, look, I had some, I had some, some, I had some brothers rob me. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. Okay. So let's not do that. I'm, they were saying like, nah, we can't trust. How she just going to drop 25K in bro's lap? And, and she said it. She said, because you helped me. So I said, you, we can't assume bad. They was like, we don't know her. And I was like, right, we don't. So they was like, so we can't trust her to do good. I'm like, well, yeah, well, we can't trust her to do bad. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Maybe I'm naive. Now, she did say a couple of things. She said, this is the last of my money. I'm like, okay, that's unusual. The last of your money? The last of your money is 25K? And she also said, uh, 
Well, she kept saying, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. I didn't like that kind of humor because, you know what I'm saying? That's on some Indian give it to. Oh, wait, did I say that? My bad. <laughs> Ain't it crazy how the people that came up with Indian give it? Well, <sighs> whatever. Listen, look, let me know. I don't really care. Listen, <laughs> you like, what's an Indian give it? I don't know. Listen, I don't even know where I heard that from. I don't like the way that she kept saying, I'll take it back. She said, uh, she kept saying, I'll take it back. She said, that's the last of her money, which I really don't believe. And then she also, I know, is going through a divorce. Or, or you know what I'm saying? His, her husband filed for divorce. We don't know why. So maybe she did that public display of here's the last of my money because you helped me out. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I am being naive. Maybe that could be. If I'm looking at it from a negative standpoint, I could say, well, maybe that is her attempt to try to make it look like she don't got no papers. So her man's in them can't, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, she, she's making the papers off in all them interviews. Right. Or or maybe, you know what I'm saying? She really is just, you know, what I mean, showing love to bro because bro looked out for her, man. You know what I mean, I don't know. Let us know your thoughts, man. Let me let me know what you think about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, settle the argument, man. I trust what y'all think, cause y'all like y'all. A lot of y'all wise in the comment section, man. And and look, y'all listening to somebody that that keep talking about wisdom, wisdom. I love wisdom, I love wisdom. So y'all must love wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think, man. I really want to know, real talk. All right, and you know I'll be reading these comments, cause I I be reading these comments, man. I be seeing what y'all saying. Some of y'all be talking crazy to me, man. Yeah, yeah. Some of y'all be talking real crazy to me. Who was talking crazy to me yesterday? What's the dude's name? What you call it? Uh, Keith Reynolds. Yeah, Keith Reynolds. Talk about, oh, you talk too damn much. Just deliver the content. I said, who the hell this dude talking to, man? I said, your bro, you ain't telling He's like, no, no, don't, don't take it personal, my guy. I was like, oh, okay, oh, all right. Because I was about to. He was like, no, 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 it ain't, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? We good, we good. I was like, oh, okay, because, I, you know, I almost took it personal. I got I got in my feelings for a second. Uh, Keith Reynolds, <laughs> shout out to you. Listen, uh, anyway, my bad. And finally... Uh, you see, I, boy, I got the jibber jabber today. Listen, uh, let me tell you something. Erica Badu and Azalea Banks has some words for Beyonce and her country kick. Right? Beyonce has decided to step out her zone once again, using a different pointed paintbrush for her art. And artists are throwing doo-doo at her paintings. And you know, when I say art paintings, you know, I'm referring to her music. OK. And her album cover. Listen, Erica Badu posted a pic of Beyonce's Country Carter album with B in the braids. And Erica posted, hmm. Now, last time Erica says something that we remember about Beyonce, she, I think she says something like she stole her, the kind of hat style that she was rocking or something like that. I, I, I get the sense that Erica is saying Beyonce is kind of stealing her style or touching her style. Okay. Um, now, uh, folks, are, folks are thinking. It's because Erica rock braids. Hopefully I got the picture. Hopefully I took the picture of Erica Badu rocking the braids and, and, and Beyonce rocking the braids. But I mean, there's more people than just you that rock the braids. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't the only one. Some people be thinking like, you know what I'm saying? You know a song I was listening to the other day? You're so vain, you probably think this song is about you. I forgot the lady that sang it. What's her name? Is it Carly Simon? I don't remember. Listen, um, but, but it was a good song though. Who was I talking about? Oh. Um, yeah, 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 Erica Badu. Listen, listen. I guess the Beehive didn't like what she said, and man, the Beehive, look, the Beehive stung Erica because she came back and and she she tried to invoke Jay Z's name, talking about. To, she said, "Quote to Jay Z, say something, Jay. Look, say something, Jay. You gonna let this woman and these bees do this to me? Close quote. You mean let this my wife, bruh? You think you think Jay Z is gonna side with you over Beyonce?" Erica, come on. I mean, come on. I'm beginning to not care about people's art when they be saying crazy stuff. Why would Jay-Z side with her over, you know what I'm saying? Of course he's gonna side with Beyonce. Wife takes priority. Technically, right? Technically? I believe, this is what I believe. I don't care what you say, okay? I believe the wife takes priority over the children. I'm not saying that, you know what I'm saying, like, um, I'm saying the wife should take priority. I'm not saying one should be taken care of like way more than the other or nothing like that. I'm saying I think the wife takes priority over the children. That's what I personally believe. You see what I'm saying? I love the kids. You know what I mean? They should be taken care of and you shouldn't have to take care of your wife like a child. I think that. But I'm just saying. You know what I mean? And my bad. Uh, yeah, wife takes priority. 
Okay. She said, hmm. Look, Jay-Z would have been like, uh, like, <laughs> look, Jay-Z probably saw that, hmm, and probably on six different burner accounts inflicted 30% of the stings. You know what I'm saying? Look, Jay's not the guy to help Erica Badu. <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce are just regular people. Beyonce probably showed Jay Erica's post, like, what you gonna do now? Then he probably remembered sis and stung Erica ass something fist a few more times. Okay? Anyway, look, Azalea Banks. <laughs> Azalea. Azalea, because of flower, bees, right? Azalea Banks cut the corner. Isn't Azalea a flower? I think it is. My bad. Azalea Banks cut the corner, made a beeline straight for Country Carter. She posted, Cowboy Carter. Wow. We didn't even try to put even a little effort into being a, uh, into a more artistic title. Sis, I live for white Yonce, Donatella Bianca Bardo down, but I'm kind of ashamed at how you switch from Boabab trees and Black Parade to this literal pick me stuff. Close quote. Like, and, uh, open it back up. She said, like, you do the lame stuff, like, bring out some blacklisted white women, the Dixie Chicks, at the Country Music Awards, and they would never do the same for you. You're always sharing your platform with white women who are so jealous of you, but have a long history of sabotaging other black women's careers. Close quote. <laughs> um, I don't 100% disagree with Azalea Banks. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing, <laughs> like it it got me thinking when, as it, when Azalea said that, right? The first thing I thought about was Azalea Banks' Licorice video. She has a, a video called Licorice and it's a Western theme joint. It's like a cowboy. The joint is hot to death, okay? The song is super hot. Check it out if you ain't never heard of Licorice. I think it's hot. You know what I mean? One of the hottest. It's on my playlist. You know what I'm saying? But still. Okay? I'm over here like, did she really go there with that though? Azalea Banks has that song Licorice, right? Like I said, it's on my playlist. Sonically, I love the way it sounds, okay? But here's the lyrics. You know what I mean? The lyric, I'm not so fond of the lyrics. She goes, so since you vanilla men spend, can my hot fudge itches get with your vanilla friends? Hey, I'm the licorice itch. You know I'm looking for these ninjas if these ninjas is rich. I make hits for the mucker. Do you jiggle your ick? when your itch pops in or something, something. And then she goes like this. She says, can I catch your eye, sir? Can I be what you like? That sounds like a pick me line, but whatever. Can I be what you like? Yeah, I could be the right girl. Tell me if you like your lady in my, my color. Can I be your type? Yeah. Um, Close quote. That's the line that she said. <laughs> Look, maybe when she's talking about vanilla men, she's saying clean cut dudes as opposed to white guys. But isn't hot fudge and licorice black? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm mad Beyonce just be doing her work and folks hate her. You know what I'm saying? Look, she just be at work just like you and I, right? Can you imagine? You know what I mean? Oh, oh, here she go again, filing them damn papers, making copies and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Look, you could make co copies for us too, you know? You know what I'm saying? We would appreciate it. Beyonce like, oh, excuse me, I only file papers and make copies for the Dixie Chicks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, your black ass could get it out the mud, though. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Do you think Azalea Banks is making, um any sense with this man does she got a good point with what she's saying man or do you think otherwise man you know what I'm saying yeah I had to roll down my windows I'm starting to sweat anyway let us know your thoughts in the comments below this video's run on long enough I apologize but then again I don't you know what I'm saying because you got top notch content man I mean what you know what I mean it, matter of fact if you did get top notch content why don't you hit us with a like hit us with a sub you know all that fun stuff man you know what I'm saying and, uh, and, and make your boy look good in front of you too man you know what I'm saying I definitely would appreciate it man thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source your source celeb news